Hello, dear brothers and sisters. I'm Father Claudio from Mission Ruach on the World. Holy Spirit want to come into us, to blow into us, to change our lives, to make us a new person each day, each second. The Holy Spirit, Pentecost, is coming each day in our lives. Let's receive with the words of God this gospel of the Pentecost. And let's see how the gospel and the word of Jesus and the voice of the Father and the power of the Holy Spirit can go inside of our lives and can change us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors was locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins will retain are retained. This is a gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh Lord, what amazing words coming in our life. All the time, Jesus is telling, peace be with you. Peace be with you all the time. When you wake up in the morning, dear brother, dear sister, remember Jesus is with you. He wants to grow in you. We have 24 hours each day. And I hope we can use it in the will of God. God will be done in us. These 24 hours, you can use it with peace. Peace be with you. The peace is given from the Lord. If you open your heart, Jesus is coming to you. And you tell, you invite him, you see the words of God Father can change the life, your life. Because this peace wants the Father to give it to you. Remember, when you was just born, in the first second that you was born, that moment was an amazing peace, amazing joy was a new miracle come in this world. Was maybe that love that your mother and father received in that moment from God the Father. And he told, I want to take a cell from the mother womb for one million cells. And now I want to take another cell from the womb of your father and want to make a new miracle. That miracle are you. And that miracle was starting in a second when the father told, I will build a new life. I want that this child, this girl, this boy, if you are, I want that they are imitation of my son in this world. I hope that you understand the love of God the Father for you. He chose you, he chose me from one billion of embryos. In the same second, in the same night, in your mother womb, and be born a one million different embryo, one billion different embryos. Because God the Father had this power, but He chose you. Ask yourself, why God Father chose me? What God Son chose me? What God the Holy Spirit chose me? And maybe the answer is coming from here inside. If you are going inside deep and you ask the Holy Spirit, why I am here, why I'm in this world, why God chose me for one, another million of brother and sister. Maybe he had a plan with me. Yes, the Father had a plan with each one of us. When you pray the, the prayer, our Father who art in heaven, your kingdom come, where? In your heart, that is the plan of God. You will be done, what will? God, Father will in the earth like in the heaven. What is written in the heaven about you? I'm sure that you're the answer, you know it. You knew it before I ask you, and you know that Godfather is asking you to be holy. It's easy, and Godfather is telling you, you know, 
For this mission in this world, it's easy for you because I send my son. I send my son to tell you peace with you each day of your life. I send my son to explain you, you will be not alone. You are not walking and loving and living alone in this life. You are not orphaned. My son was coming for you and you have also a protector. Jesus send also the Holy Spirit and the God Father send the Holy Spirit for this protector to be growing in you. And more I can tell you. God Father had a dream to imitate the son. He had son, he gave the life. If you are like his son in this world, God Father will love you. So it's so easy. Take the clothes of the eyes of Jesus. Take the mouth and the words of Jesus. Take the ear of Jesus to hear the voice of the Father and your life will be very different. Try to take all everything in Jesus did. Love, joy, peace. What Jesus doing this life? He loves the poor. He loves the people like you, like me. He loves a life, but in the way of God, Father. The life is to be given. More you give the life, more you have life. More you keep your life, less you can have it. Try to focus your life, not in you, but in God, Father, love. And that love, you will bring you to the others. Focus your life in Jesus, with Jesus, for Jesus. And you will see in each person over the world, a little Jesus, a big Jesus, amazing Jesus. If you can see holy person, you can see, wow, Jesus was doing like a miracle. This seed, he can growing and growing. You will be like him if you do the words of God doing him. Allow Jesus to come into your mind because when you wake up in the morning, remember you was chosen by the one million embryos for one reason, because God Father had a dream in you that you be holy and you follow Jesus. Embrace your cross, embrace your mission, embrace everything God sent to you. God Father choose this mom for you, this dad for you, these brothers and sisters, this wife and children and husband for you. It's not wrong, nothing is wrong. Everything is good. That if you need something to forgive and forget, try to ask Jesus in this gospel you hear, I can forgive and I can restore the lives. But try to remember you was chosen to be holy. You was chosen to go with Him, with God, Father, all the day, and to love these words and to be happy with the bread that God, Father, give it to you. And remember, forgive as we forgive us who trespass and again us. The forgiveness is the key of the life. No mother perfect in the world, no father perfect in the world. Not son and daughter perfect in the world, not wife and husband. So try to understand that the forgiveness is a key. It's inside of the Our Father prayer. Why Jesus put the forgiveness inside of Our Father prayer? Because it's a key of your life. Because it's answer to many questions. Maybe you are demanding or asking too much on you or in others. Maybe you are happy with what you have, but maybe you need to give the happiness, the peace of God to the another. The peace, it's a gift of God. So God wants to, in the morning, take and bring into your heart peace. Embrace the cross. Love what the Father gave it to you. Pray the rosary. Go to the Holy Mass and pray also Divine Mercy Chapel. And you see that the, your mission in this world is not a normal mission. It's an amazing mission. Is Jesus with you, Jesus in you. And He wants that you will be a Jesus in the fire. Jesus is loving. The power of the Holy Spirit is so amazing. Figure out many, many people over the world, they receive this 
power the Holy Spirit, but you can be that present in the world, Jesus present. Jesus was in that place in Cenaculo with, with the apostles. And when arrived Jesus there, he talked, he told, receive the Holy Spirit. In that moment, the life of the apostle was changed. Figure out that you are now in that place. And Jesus is telling you because he's telling you now receive the Holy Spirit. I send to you the Holy Spirit and it's sending to you each day, each second. Every time we tell, come Holy Spirit, come to my life. Change each time, it's a powerful invocation. You know, when you do the glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, the glory of God is coming into you. It is coming through the Holy Spirit. It wants it your life to be changed. I hope you will feel in that presence in Cenacolo, in that amazing place when Jesus was coming and transformed the fears of the apostles. What did we do? They get lost. No, Jesus was coming. He tell peace with you. I send to you, I blow into you, I breathe into you the Holy Spirit and your life will be changed and you will be a new person, a new love, will be me in you. So mother, father, you are hearing me. Go home and talk to your children. It's not you, it's Jesus wants to live into you. Jesus wants to talk the first to you, telling I love you and I want that this love to give to your wife, husband, children, nephews, niece. I want to give you this love to the world. I want that you go not only in your place where you work, also to the neighborhood. I want that you go not only in the church, in your community, to the neighborhoods, and another religious, and to talk. I remember another things, Pope Francis was visiting Romania and he was a beatification of seven bishops. They were in the jail and suffer. That bishop, seven bishops, were in a cenacle with Jesus. It was not the fears of the communist country or of the dictator to kill their lives, but they give the life because they have the joy of Jesus inside of them. So maybe it's you are sometimes in a jail, you are afraid, but Remember the martyrs, they are not afraid because the Holy Spirit in you, no fears with the Holy Spirit, not fears when you have the God the Father in your, here in your heart, not fears when you have Jesus in your heart. So remember the Holy Spirit wants to come in your country, in the place where you are. He wants to bring you love and peace, he wants to change the things because it's not you, Jesus wants to live into you. It's not you that he wants to be a best mother, best father. It's Jesus wants to be the best in you because he is a way, he's a path, he is our life. So choose Jesus each day, love him, confess, go to confession, also take the Eucharist in your life will be more identified with the mission in this world. Yes, you are be different Jesus. In this world, we have seven billion different Jesuses. And in each one, God is loving with the same love. Hope you understand. Our Father is for all of them, and you are part of them. Try to love Father. Try to love the Son. Try to follow the breath of the Holy Spirit and the peace will come to you and the Holy Virgin will protect you. I want to bless you in this luminous program and from the mission Ruach over the world, I give you the part of Jesus, this blessing, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and the Holy Virgin to protect you all the day of your life. God bless you. I just want to say congratulations to the team to Shalom World TV. You're doing tremendous work. And I'm going to ask God's blessing for you.
for him to open doors to you and keep you doing your, your good job for new evangelization. So Lord, I want to ask you to bless them and give them your strength and your grace. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.